Hello, my name is Adam Comerford and I'm the National Hydrology Manager for the Canal and River Trust. I look after water management across the Trust's 2,000 mile network of canals. I'm here today at Stanley Reservoir, which as you can see behind me, is at a pretty low level. It's around 35% full and that's because we've been using the water in this season to feed the Colden Canal. The Colden Canal is supplied by this reservoir and two other reservoirs, but also the water from the Colden Canal goes into the Trent and Mersey Canal. It's been a very dry period over the last six months. It's been the driest six months since 1976 and it has been the driest July since 1935 in England. So a dry period has impacted a proportion of our canal network in terms of water resources. The dry weather we've experienced has also come at the same time as we've had to invest heavily in a number of our reservoirs. These reservoir works have been essential for reservoir safety and the maintenance works and the engineering projects we've undertaken will ensure the safety of those reservoirs for years to come. Whilst we're filming here today, the rain is coming down, but we've had such a prolonged dry weather period, a few rain showers doesn't offset all of that lack of rain that we've had over many, many months. So our overall water resource position is reasonably good for the majority of the network. Around 90 to 95% of our canal network is open for navigation, but around five or so percent is impacted by the dry weather. And that's in the form of either restrictions to lock usage or in fact closures of canals to, to boat movements. It's also important to say that in terms of the towpath usage, that all the towpaths are open as normal. It's, it's the, the impact on water resources affecting boating. So we encourage all boaters and anyone who's, who's about to go out and enjoy a boating holiday or has got a boat and is planning a trip to make sure they sign up to the restrictions and stoppages notices page on our website. By doing this, you can get an email alert as soon as there's any change to the situation. So this will tell you if a canal has brought in restrictions or even a canal closure to allow you to plan your journey. So we do encourage boaters to use our website to do this. With the planned engineering works on a number of our reservoirs that were already underway through the winter and into the spring, we knew that even with an average year of rainfall, we might have problems with water resources. So we've tried to bring forward engineering works on our canals wherever possible, relining and replacing lock gates to save water and undertaking any other water saving measures that we could in preparation because of the impact of the, the reservoir engineering works. Also, with the restrictions and closures we've had to bring in on some of our canals, we've taken advantage of those to bring forward some winter stoppage works, some planned engineering works that were going to take place next winter. We've brought them forward and we're going to be doing them in the summer to try and get the job done while the canal is closed and hopefully save water for the long term. Boaters can really help us. They're out and about on our network, enjoying the network, and they're the ones who notice if there's a problem or a fault with a lock gate or a paddle or there's a water leakage. So we please encourage all boaters to do their bit. Share locks wherever possible. If you're boating on a broad lock, sharing locks with other boats are so waiting just a few more minutes to share a lock and save that water. Also making sure closing gates and lowering paddles at the end of passing through a lock. And also letting us know if there's any problems you spot out and about on the network so we can get our local teams out there to try and address those problems. The volunteers that help us on our network, and particularly the volunteer lock keepers, are a crucial role. We really rely on you to help us managing water effectively on the ground, day in, day out. You have an essential role talking to boaters, explaining how water resources are important for the canal network, explaining how we can save water, and explaining why we're experiencing these restrictions and closures on the network at the moment. I'm now here at Stockton Top Lock on the Colden Canal and this lock gets its water from both Stanley Reservoir and two other reservoirs. Water is the lifeblood of the canal system. Without the reliable water supply, navigation simply isn't possible. So when we bring in these restrictions and closures, it's only because we're running low on water resources in our reservoirs or the other streams and rivers that feed our canal system. So please keep an eye out on our website for any restrictions or closure notices that we might have to bring out as the prolonged dry weather may continue through the summer months.